We looked around and uh, I had a list of several places that I thought were appropriate. But Kaz zeroed in on this uh, Mercy mm. Center and... Yeah, this is uh, ideal. Um, it's close to the public transportation. transportation, close to the airport, close to the beautiful city of San Francisco and uh, such a spiritual place. It's, a, it's an oasis of contemplative conferences. The schedule kind of evolved. We knew we wanted meditation, and of course, calligraphy is the basis. Chris's idea that each one has a table, and a, a little bit away from others. During uh, the calligraphy, uses the book that we worked on together, uh, mm. Heart of the Brush. We didn't want to have just advanced students. You find that the more advanced students want to help the younger students. With the time that we have here at Mercy Center, mm -hmm. we're able to go that next step so mm -hmm. that people can put their artwork in frames or go through the steps of how to make a scroll. That's one thing that I think is different about this workshop, is right. the time that it allows mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the deep penetration. Mm -hmm. As the week progresses, people go through profound breakthroughs. That way, uh, people can have a very profound experience, and also satisfying experience. Mm -hmm. People uh, who have diverse backgrounds, different cultures, different countries, and also different ages and different level of experiences. Being here is an incredible experience. It's like an immersion. And it's absolutely, it, it, it's like the center pole of my practice for the year. It's such an incredibly nurturing time for that baby artist inside. The joy is, is having fun doing this. There's a lot of laughter. I think the important thing is really people enjoy the process, slowing down, and then enjoy each moment more fully. Slow is beautiful. I regard myself as a student of calligraphy, and uh, I'm facing you know, great uh, ancient Chinese masters, and then I'm trying to learn more from all of these uh, great masters. So even if I hold maybe 50 people's hand and I'm doing the same exercise, making a close study of an ancient ideograph, each time I learn more. That's why I always thank people for coming because if they didn't come to the workshop, we wouldn't have anything to do.